Hi friends, I am Rajesh and today I am going to tell you what is parapet wall, its type and usage of the parapet wall. Now it is very important to know about the parapet wall. So let's start the today's session. Let me define you first what is parapet wall. Well, parapet wall is a wall that is built along the edge of the roof terrace, walk away and balcony. That is nothing but a parapet wall. Parapet wall can be constructed using the different materials like reinforcement, concrete, steel, aluminium, glass, etc. But most of the people are using brickwork only because its cost is low. That's why most of the people prefer to use brickwork only for the parapet wall now let me write the definition of parapet wall so parapet wall is a parapet wall is a wall that is provided or you can say that is built along the edge of the roof terrace walk away walk away and balcony etc so that is nothing but a parapet so let me show you the figure for better understanding so this is the parapet wall so this is the figure of parapet wall suppose I am taking for example only it is provided at the height of 3 feet or 4 feet from the roof surface and its thickness should be 10 inch because when people go to the roof they take the support of the wall to stand with it and if you do not provide the appropriate wall thickness i mean 10 inch wall thickness then the wall will fall down and obviously the person who are standing by the support of the wall they also fall down so whenever you are constructing a parapet wall make sure that it will be a strong make it a strong by plastering inside and outside of the wall so in this condition don't forget to provide the fillet joint between the wall and column so suppose this is your roof area and this is the parapet wall so the height of the parapet wall should be 3 feet or 4 feet and its thickness should be thickness should be 10 inch so this is what this is height and this is thickness 10 inch we are providing the thickness 10 inch so that <coughs> the wall do not fall when the speed of the wind is high so that is the parapet wall height and thickness and this is the area of the roof and along all the four sides there is a parapet wall in village it is called boundary let me tell you what is terrace walkway and balcony so terrace is an external raised open flat area near a building or you can say a terrace is always an entirely open space and balcony are small and they are always attached to a room whereas the terrace have separate entrance balcony can be open or closed terrace cannot be covered without an authorized floor plan so that is the <coughs> difference between the terrace and balcony you can say balcony as a platform that project from the wall of a building and is enclosed by a parapet 
वाल नो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू दी टाइप्स ऑफ पैरापेट वाल बेस्ड ऑन अपेरेंस सो देर आर बेसिकली फोर टाइप्स ऑफ दी पैरापेट वाल द फर्स्ट वन इज प्लेन प्लेन पैरापेट वाल सेकेंड वन इज परफोरेटेड पैरापेट वाल एंड थर्ड वन इज इम्बैटल पैरापेट वाल एंड फोर्थ वन इज दी पैनल पैरापेट वाल पैनल पैरापेट वाल सो दीज आर दी टाइप्स ऑफ पैरापेट वाल बेस्ट ऑन द टाइप ऑफ पैरापेट वाल वन बाय वन सो द फर्स्ट वन इज पलेन पैरापेट वाल पलेन पैरापेट वाल प्लेन पैरापेट वाल इज नथिंग बट ए वर्टिकल एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द वाल एट द इज ऑफ द रूफ especially it is provided for safety concern so that is nothing but a plain parapet wall it is easy to construct and requires low maintenance it generally looks dull in appearance it generally looks dull in appearance so let me show you the figure so plain parapet wall is like this so this is suppose this is your roof area and besides all the four sides there is a parapet wall so this is a plain parapet wall it's showing like this so this wall is actually plastered with cement so moving into the second one that is perforated perforated parapet wall well perforated parapet wall is also an extension of wall like plain parapet but in this case the extended wall portion is perforated with different size opening considering the aesthetics appearance of the structure basically the design performance in this is circles flower shape etc are used let me draw the figure for better understanding so suppose this is parapet wall boundary this is the roof area inside so in this gap there is shape like some flower flower shape people are prefer to decorate their structure basically the design performance in this are circles flower shape etc are used in the perforated parapet wall one that is embattled parapet wall the embattled parapet wall were widely used in olden days especially for castle fort etc alternative low and high portion and perforation are provided in the parapet because of their beautiful appearance and uniqueness embattled parapets are being constructed nowadays to enhance the aesthetics aspect of the structure so its figure look like this so this type of the structure is is the embattled parapet wall
in olden times they were constructed like this you might be seen in the movie this type of parapet wall now moving into the fourth one that is panel panel parapet wall well the panel parapet walls are similar to plain parapet but the difference is having a series of panel design on the outside of the wall so its figure is suppose this is your parapet wall inside the parapet wall its appearance is like this the design of the appearance is like this so that is the panel parapet wall the panel shape may be a square in this the panel shape may be a square this type of parapet wall provides a beautiful appearance to the structure and at the same time it doesn't cost much and provides is in is in construction that is all about the panel parapet the wall usage of the parapet wall usage of parapet wall to provide an aesthetic look to the structure to provide an aesthetic looks to the structure next one is to provide safety for the humans when they are on the rooftop to provide the safety for humans when they are on the rooftop the purpose of providing the parapet wall is to hide and prevent the equipment and machinery on the rooftop so that the structure looks aesthetics from outside so that is the usage of the parapet wall and you can see also to prevent the entrance of the dust through the air on the rooftop so it means suppose this is suppose this is your roof area inside and this is parapet wall so in this parapet wall there is having some holes so that so that the wind can pass through it so that is to prevent the entrance of the dust through the air on the rooftop and obviously to prevent the falling of the debris gather on the rooftop and the last one you can say to prevent the high wind load carrying on the rooftop so that is all about the usage of the parapet wall from the safety point of view we are making parapet wall so that the children do not fall from the roof so that is the purpose of the parapet wall